Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph this absolute value equation. And here what I have is at y equals the absolute value of x plus 1 minus 2. And over here what I have graphed is the parent graph. And basically what we're going to be doing is graphing this you know, expression, but understanding what exactly are the transformations. So when, to try to understand the transformations, it's very helpful to know these two equations. And we only really use this equation when we have a coefficient of our x, which in this case we don't. So we're going to look to this equation. And basically, what our h and our k represent is our transformations, or our translations of shifting left and right and up and down. So if our original vertex is at 0, 0, the value of our new vertex with transformations is going to be h and k. So now I just need to identify what exactly are my new h and k, and, or at least what is my new vertex. All right. So remember, it's x opposite of h. So x opposite of 1 would be negative 1, comma, and then it's just plus k, which would be plus a negative, so it would be negative 2. Other way, another way to write this is to look at it like this, x opposite of negative 1 plus a negative 2. This is the exact same writing as this, but it's written in a format that is similar to this, minus h plus k. All right, so therefore, you can see that h is negative 1 and k is negative 2. So basically, what my graph is doing, instead of starting at 0, 0, it's now shifting one unit to the left and shifting down two, down two units. Now, when graphing this, you can obviously recreate a whole new table, as I did like for the parent graph. But the, basically, what I like to do is take my vertex and transform my vertex. The vertex for the parent graph starts at 0, 0. So what I'm basically doing is moving that over one unit to the left and then down two units. All right. Now, to graph the rest of the, uh, the function, I need to understand what is the relationship between all the points. And basically, to go from every point, I go over one, up one, over one, up one, over two, up two, over two, up two. So I can just so if I know that my vertex has been transferred over one and down two units, I can just follow that pattern to find my next um, coordinate points. And you don't need to graph you know, 1,000 points. You really just pretty much need, um, let's see, over one, up one, over. You just don't really need a couple on each side. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is now the new graph of my absolute value function. Thanks.